What's up guys, Jake Salisman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we have two tight chokes. We're going to put them on paper at 40 out of my Frank Infinity 3. So we'll see which one throws a better pattern at 40 yards. Stay tuned. Okay, so the two chokes we have, once again, we have the Muller H2O. Now this is the UFO clearly. This is your extra full or super full choke. This is really tight as you've seen in last week's uploads, although I didn't do my job and put it centered. But this thing was screaming tight. And we got comments that put it up against the Mamba. So here we go. We got the Anaconda Black Mamba from Pattern Master. This is a 690. I haven't had any time to take all the chokes that we are unaware of the sizes. Well, I should say the constriction. I haven't had any time to take them to work and pin them and see what sizes they are, so I don't know what this is, but I do know it throws an extremely tight, way too tight for my liking uh, pattern, especially like this morning. We hammered some geese, and I think we had our average shot was like 15 yards, so too tight would have been a problem. We'll shoot the Mamba first, then we'll shoot the UFO, but what we're going to shoot today is a budget load that y'all know and love. It's tried and true. It's a really good baseline test. That is the Dakota Country Waterfowl. This is the federal version. You guys know we love the Fiocchi or Fiocchi, however you want to say it. Dakota Duck and Goose, it's the same load. They're both cheap boxes and they just pattern well and they slay geese. This is a three inch ounce and an eighth to two shot and it's 1550 feet per second so this is a really good baseline we know how this looks out of a lot of different chokes so that's why we like using this for new chokes or comparisons because we do know what the performance is out of this pretty consistently so in our eyes when we want to do these comparisons we want to use a load that we really do understand and we know how it should look if you will Moose put the one on the left a touch high, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim underneath it, just center it up so we can look at the whole pattern. As you can see, the reflex sight is off, finally, and uh, we hammered geese today, so I'm shooting good, so it should be centered. Let's get right to it. Okay, so first up, we got the Pattern Master Black Mamba in. As you guys know, this is a $60 choke. It's a very versatile choke. It sits at 690 constriction. And once again, we got a budget load. Dakota Country, wow. Dakota Country Waterfowl. It's just your run in the mill. Three inch, 1550 feet per second, ounce and an eighth of number twos. Let's shoot that left target. And like I said, I'm going to aim slightly under to center. And then we'll swap chokes out. Do the same thing with a molar. Let's get to it. That should be a touch under. You can't really tell. No, I just see there's two right across its neck. Mamba. Okay. Alright, so now we got the UFO in. And I understand why they call it a UFO because I'm pretty sure you could take one down with this thing. It is tight, tight at 40. That was with Apex though. We'll see how it does with Dakota Country side by side the Mamba. Let's let her rip. Time to eat. That shot high again. I think. I can't tell. I buried that right on the freaking center of it. And I see shot it looks like. Maybe it just shoots high. I don't I don't know. That was buried. Alright, so we shot both. Now it's time to do some coloring. Let's go check them out. Alright guys, we got some interesting patterns to look at here. Let's just get right to them. Mamba first. Can you see it pretty good? Oh yeah, because it actually shows up really well with the sun hitting it right now. And the black. Good, the sun's good for somebody. Because I can't see anything. All right, so just gonna say this right up front. I love 
uniform patterns. Okay, that's what I look for in waterfowl. And generally in pattern testing, I want, a, I want uniformity. I want it to be nice and rounded. I want it a good dense core. And uh, this actually is neither. Um, with the Dakota Country, I don't like this at all. I mean, you can see with this one, having this being up higher, I was putting it right here. I mean, you got two in the neck, which is nice, but you look at this, this looks decent. It's not the best core by no means, but then you have a really blotchy pattern to fill out. There's nothing over here. There's voids here. There's voids right there. You know, this is not an ideal pattern by no means. It's, I mean, as you guys know, I shoot for Pattern Master, but I still hold them, actually I hold them to a higher standard, but it's just, this is not a good combo with that choke and that gun. It didn't jive. With the Apex, it was lights out. That's what we were using today. And we shot 30 geese, so it was working. But this right here, it's not ideal at 40 yards. Now, in our setup, our in our application, this would look a lot better because we usually shoot 30 and under, but being at 40 yards, being our standard test, this doesn't look great. It, it's a really blotchy pattern, not a great core, and it, it's not uniform at all. So I, like I said, you have to pattern your setup. You could love your choke all day long. Different loads will shoot differently out of your choke. You have to pattern what you're going to take a field. If I was taking this a field, I wouldn't be. So there's that. Let's go look at the molar. Okay, once again, I buried this right here and it shot high again. So I'm just wondering if that's how that choke shoots in that gun. But this is a good pattern. I mean, like I said, I was aiming here, it is high, but you look at your core, you have a lot of shot in your core right here. And then this looks like a more uniform pattern to me. This is rounded. There's not really many voids. There is that one there. But side by side, this choke and gun and load combo jived a lot better than the Mamba did. But I'm curious to see why this is shooting high. Like I said, I, I buried that like the Mamba, and this one shot high with it. But that's just how it goes. This is a killer pattern, and I know one thing, you work this in, it's gonna be really tight, that's for sure. And that's what we saw when we shot the Apex with it. It was actually the same point of impact, just tighter. But this has got a real good uniform pattern. That, not much else to say. I mean, this, this sucker just looks good right here. That, that would be a setup that would be good as long as you're taking 40 yard shots, 30, 35, in close, you better be have your lead down and better be <clears throat> better be right on them. Otherwise, you might miss because that's going to be screaming tight. So now, let me jump in the middle. We can look at both side by side and see what you guys think of each setup side by side. On your left, we have the Mamba with the Dakota Country Waterfowl budget load out of the Franke Affinity Three, and on your right. We have the Muller UFO, same gun, same load. And as you can tell by the patterns, it hurts me to say this, but the Muller is a more uniform pattern, although it is much tighter. This is a really blotchy pattern. As you can see now side by side, you can see exactly where I'm coming from when I'm saying this is a blotchy, non-uniform pattern. This is, it's just a lot tighter to me. I don't really like a really tight pattern at 40 yards because we rarely shoot that far. So, But I also don't like a blotchy pattern either. So with this load, I'd probably have to put it through the Anaconda or the Code Black Duck and see. But in this test, I think the UFO has a more uniform pattern while being tighter than the Mamba. We'll have to do this, this choke comparison with a couple other loads and see how it breaks down as we go. But that's in time. Here today, right now, this looks to be the better pattern than this. Uniformity is my main concern with a waterfowl pattern. 
I don't want a lot of voids and I don't want a blotchy pattern. Hurts to say that because the Mamba did everything I don't like. But guys, this is yet again another perfect example of why you have to pattern the load you're going to take a field. Now I love the Mamba. I took it a field this morning. It was Hawk, Evan from Give and Chase Outdoors, Hawk and myself, and we shot 30 geese this morning, finally put a whooping on them. They've been whooping our butt all early season, but today was the day to give it back to them. And I took the Franke Affinity 3 with the Mamba and Apex and it, it hammered them. But we've seen that pattern on paper and it was really good. This one, not so much. The molar shot both those loads about the same, honestly. The Apex was slightly tighter in its performance with the molar, but that's why you gotta pattern your setup, know what you're shooting with so you know what your range is, what you got to work with. We don't wanna be crippling birds, we don't wanna be wounding birds, we wanna stone them soakers. Oh, soakers. Yeah, I was going to say jokers, and then I said suckers, and then it came out soakers. Well, they got soaked when they hit the water. I'm free! <laughs> we want to stone them jokers. We don't want them. We want clean ethical kills. That's why you got to know your setup. But here, the molar looked really good. The mamba, not its best showing. But you're going to see that the more you test your choke. But guys, keep those comments coming. Let us know. What chokes you want to see head to head, what loads, if we have them, and we have the loads, we'll do it. We're going to keep testing these two side by side with different loads, see how they go. And uh, I, I really do like these side by side, same gun, same load, because you can really see the differences in performances amongst setups. As we've been saying, we're almost to 10K, we're over 8,000 now, so thank you for that. Let's get to 10K subscribers. Let's get BCO Nation growing. Keep sharing these videos with your buds on Facebook, however you want to share them. Let's get it to 10K so we can give away that ultimate turkey setup before spring turkey next year. I'm hoping to hit it before October. I still got hopes. We're running out of time, so I need you guys to have my back here. Share these videos. Let's get to 10K. With that said, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Drop your comments below. Let us know what you thought of this test, what you thought of each performance side by side, etc. We love the conversations we have on each video. So make sure you drop your comments. Let us know your honest opinions. Also, hit the subscribe button. Turn the notifications to all so you don't miss out on our Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads. But we may switch our schedule to Monday, Wednesday with bow opening soon. And then, of course, when bow, duck, and goose are all in season, we got a lot on our plate, so we might be doing two videos a week and then premiering hunts. So notification bell's key. But, guys, as always, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We got more tests to film today, and Hawk's actually out scouting for the morning. So hopefully we can get on some more birds for tomorrow, get the shot cams back out, and hammer some honkers. But, guys, as always, we'll catch you on the next one.